Grand tidings and good drawing, everyone. My name's Green Star Riot, and welcome to Green Star Studios. Uh, so today we are doing a drawing inspired by the song Rainbow Dragon by Keenan Lonsdale. If you haven't heard of Keenan, let me tell you a little bit about him. So I first saw Keenan on YouTube a long, long time ago. Um, I found his YouTube channel. I was looking through. This will tell you how long ago this was. I was looking at covers of Icebox by Omarion. Yes, I'm that old. <laughs> um, so I was looking for covers of that and I found Keenan and he was doing a cover of, I think he did a cover of that song, but the one that I really remember was through that, I found him doing a cover of Love Song by Rihanna and I loved it. It was great. Um, if I can find the channel, I might link it. I don't know if he even still has that channel to be honest, but... Anyway, he had a really good voice, I thought, and he was really cute, so <laughs> I was definitely here for it. Um, and then years and years later, um, I saw him in the Love, Simon movie. He plays the love interest in the movie, and I was like, what? Really? I was like, oh, well, that's really forward thinking for him if he's a straight guy. And then, lo and behold... So he was in The Flash, which is where a lot of you probably do know him from if you've heard his name or seen him. A lot of you probably know him from The Flash. If that's if you've heard his name or seen him, that's probably where um, that's where he got really popular, I think. And now he's making music. Um, and I really enjoy his music. This song in particular, Rainbow Dragon, is such a good anthem for anyone who's kind of going through their own insecurities, who's trying to understand themselves and really find out who they are, um, that's what the song makes me think of. And it's very clear to me that he is speaking about himself, but also about people going through the same thing. So it's a really good song. Fair warning, it is not necessarily uh, family friendly. <laughs> But if you can put that aside, it's a very good song with a really good message, and the video is pretty cool too. Um, if you like sassy, flashy gays um, and learning about being true to yourself, it's great. So go check it out. Um, I'll probably link it in the description as well. Again, the song is Rainbow Dragon by Ken Lonsdale. Now that I have talked about him, um, let's talk about the piece. So I really wanted to do something that was in my style um, which is kind of like comic-y or, you know, there's a lot of influence from anime and, and things like that um, from time to time, which you guys will see the more you watch me. <laughs> um, so in my style, I really had this idea of just him kind of suspended in midair. I don't really know what else to call that. But so he's floating there in midair. He's got the wings out. You guys will see at the towards the end of the video that they become these like rainbow wings made out of light and i just really like how it turned out now so here i've, I've already gone through the sketching i'm working on the line art and i realized part of the way through that i made the image a bit too tiny um not the canvas itself the canvas is actually huge but the actual sketch I made a little too tiny and I tried sizing it up more and more but I was running out of room for layers. Um, because in Procreate and I'm sure in other art programs, the amount of layers that you can have on an image are dependent on the resolution and how big the canvas is. So, you know, it's 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 all good. I think it still looks good. Um, next time I'll probably do a piece that doesn't have the huge wings because the wings are really the focus, you know. They tie in the whole rainbow dragon aspect. <laughs> now you can see I'm working on these shoes. Let me tell you something. These shoes were a nightmare. Um, I had such a hard time. Here's a helpful tip for those of you learning to do art. Don't do what I did. Use a reference. <laughs> like I had the picture of Keenan up there, but you couldn't really see the front of the shoes. I believe these are Chuck Taylors. Um, which I've always wanted a pair of, but my my feet are way too big to fit into a pair of those. But anyway, um, they're super cute shoes, but the shoelaces, oh my gosh. I spent probably 30 minutes trying to figure out the proper way to get these shoelaces to look, because that way is not correct. Shoes don't lace like that. <laughs> so it was a bit of a struggle. That's why this particular section is focused on the feet. 
um, or on the shoes rather, because I was really trying to get these shoelaces to make sense to myself and also anybody that might be viewing it. But I think they turned out okay in the end. And they are really cute. They're like this, you'll see, they're kind of like this coral pink color and they're just, they're adorable. And I wish I could have a pair just like them. <laughs> so my method for drawing shoelaces is actually not drawing them like in the traditional sense. In Procreate, there's not really a brush that that does what I want it to do for this. In Clip Studio there is, so I'm gonna learn how to get better at using Clip Studio because they have a brush that's perfect for shoelaces. Um, and I did not I did not learn that on my own. I actually saw um, Alex from ABD Illustrates use it in one of his videos. And by the way, please go check out Alex. Alex is fantastic. Um, and one of the reasons that I got inspired to start this channel, so please go give them a like and a follow and check out their content. But um, this, so anyway, so there's a brush in Clip Studio that's really good for that. But what I do is I draw a thick black line and then I just take the eraser and go down the center of the line instead of drawing it line by line, if that makes sense. So now that I got the main line art done, the wings and the tail are all going to be painted. Um, so there's really no need to do any line art on them. So here what I'm doing is I'm just filling in some random color. Um, I chose a dark color against the white background so it'd be easy to see. <laughs> um, as you can tell, obviously. <laughs> but so I'm just filling in a little bit of detail if you want to call it that in the center there um kind of just to I kind of had this idea in my head that not only was it like rainbow light but it also kind of moved like fire um so that's kind of where I got that idea to fill in the center like that so that little symbol on his forehead actually fun little fact if any of you are into astrology um which I am that symbol is the symbol for the sun and in astrology the sun is kind of like the king of the zodiac not in like a <laughs> not in like a bad way sometimes it can be um if they're unbalanced but anyway you know the sun gives life gives light to the solar system yada yada um <laughs> but there's a line in the song where he says we've got to shine because we're losing light and i'm the sun that opens minds so i thought it was a pretty neat idea to put that sun symbol on his forehead and that'll end up being like the wings um, and so will that heart above his head. So you guys can see when I get really close to the line art how it's so so pixely. Um, that is my one thing about Procreate is that to my knowledge there's not a way to do vector images so <laughs> you kind of have to make sure that you're drawing big enough which is what I was trying to say before. You really want a big enough drawing so that when you're doing line art, if you're doing line art, um, it doesn't look like that on a much grander scale. Um, when you zoom out, it's not too bad, but if you like start paying attention, like, oh, that's a little pixely. Um, but you know, I think in the in the long run, it turned out fine. But next time, I'm definitely going to use um, a bigger sketch, primarily, and maybe make the focus more on the body and less on the wings if I do something like this again. So here I am just coloring, doing some flat colors, 
Um, the shoelaces again, I actually colored those by hand. Um, and what I mean by that is instead of filling it with like a bucket tool, I just filled them in draw, drawing it because they were so tiny and there's so little space that the fill wouldn't work properly. <laughs> I thought this sweater was really cute. I don't think I would look good in it, <laughs> but I think he looks good in it. I like that shirt. I think he looks good in it. Um, it's really cute. And I, for I forgot the whole time to add his little gold earring that he has in the video. So I went ahead and added that. And I'm now, something I like to do with my style usually is color the line art a darker color of whatever the color block is inside of the line art. So I was coloring the line art there. And here I'm making the rainbow wings. And since I sped it up, um, I didn't want this video to be too long. So it's kind of hard to see exactly what's going on. But basically what I did is took an airbrush and a really kind of a desaturated but still colorful um, in each color of the rainbow and I just did an airbrush all the way around and did passes over it to make it rainbow. I added a little bit of glow underneath the wings and the body using the Gaussian blur. What I do is I duplicate the layer, Gaussian blur that layer and then merge them back together. And yeah, we are coming to the end of our video. I'm just finishing up a little bit of the background touches here and I'm gonna add a signature. And I decided not to shade as well um, because I didn't want to, my style of shading is very dramatic. So I didn't want to take away from the overall focus of the piece, which is the rainbow wings and the glow of everything. And you guys let me know if you don't mind uh, everything being a little bit longer and that way the footage won't be so jumpy. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy and I will see you in the next one.